Software Spring Presence How to use PPMT in Google Sheets Hi folks! Greetings! Welcome to this tutorial on using the PPMT function. Let's begin with an introduction to PPMT. PPMT stands for Principal Payment. PPMT returns the principal component of a loan, for a specific period. Use PPMT, to find out how much of your loan repayment will be for the principal, for any month of the loan tenure. Key Point PPMT returns the principal part of a loan, for fixed amount periodic payments, with a fixed interest rate. OK, here is the format of the PPMT function. Here is an example. Rate is the yearly interest rate, in percent. The rate should be divided by 12, to get the monthly interest rate. Period is the month, for which you want to calculate the principal amount. In this example, the function returns the principal amount, for the first month of the loan repayment period. Number of periods, is the tenure of the loan in months. Present value, is the loan amount. Future value is optional, and is the future value after the last payment. End or beginning equals 0 or 1. If it is 0, loan payment is made at the end of the month. If it is 1, loan payment is made at the beginning of the month. Going forward, here is the objective of using the PPMT function. To calculate principal component of loan, in first month of loan tenure. Loan amount, rupees 15,000. Interest rate, 9%. And, payment periods, 12. Alright, let me type the loan data here. Let's type the PPMT function formula in this cell. First, type equal to P, P. Select PPMT. For rate, click this cell. Divide the rate by 12, to get the monthly interest rate. Type comma. For period, click this cell to get the principal amount for the first month. Type comma. For number of periods, click this cell. Type comma. And, lastly, for present value, click this cell. Press enter. Alright, this is the principal amount payable, in the first month of the loan repayment period. The negative symbol indicates that the amount is the cash outflow. To remove the dollar symbol, first, click this cell. Click this down arrow. Click number. OK, say now you want to find out the principal amount, in each month of the loan tenure. Here are the steps. First, we will fill this column with consecutive numbers, with each number representing a month. Click this cell. Press and hold the control key, and drag this handle down 11 cells. Before we copy the formula in this cell, to these cells, we have to lock the addresses of these cells. Click this cell. Click before letter A. Press F4. Repeat these steps for all the cell addresses, except B3, and press Enter. Let's copy this formula down these cells. Alright, these are the principal components of the loan. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.